Hello everyone, this is Brother Paul. And I'm here to talk about another crazy dream that I, uh, I guess I brought it upon myself. What happened is, uh, I had an amazing night last night. Uh, as some of you already know, I not only read the 66 books that they supposedly say is a complete Bible, I read all the books that were taken out. And I was on the book of Joshua last night and I was reading about how the Israelites under the leadership of Jacob and all of his sons were taking over all the Nephilim's cities, the Amorites, you know, the Canaanites, everything you can think of under the sun. And I was very inspired when I went to bed. I spent about two hours between the regular Bible and uh, a few other books from the Apocrypha, Apocrypha, sorry. And I went to bed very, very inspired. And uh, what happened is I actually went to bed praying and I every night I asked God for different things so last night I wanted to know about the Reubenites because I'm from the tribe of Reuben some of you might be surprised by that because you have to read the book of Joshua 935 that actually explains that after the Tower of Babel was struck down one of the punishments of God is he made them made like the tribes like elephants and apes and I'll get into this in another video but I'm just gonna say Basically the black, the brown, the yellow, white, you know, and even the red tribes, which we know today as different races, that was part of the punishment of working on the Tower of Babel. So again, I'll continue that on another video. I'll get back to my dream. So I went to bed asking God to reveal what I wanted him to reveal was um, the Reuben tribe and maybe even see Reuben in a vision or a dream or something. And I, I was just really excited when I went to bed. Well what i did not know was going to happen i was spiritually attacked viciously in my sleep i had more than one dream back to back I, I might not have said this on other videos yet but i'll get into this too about my vivid dreams um, and it seems that my gift of discernment manifests itself in dreams more than in when i'm awake but uh i'll get to that later so anyway so i'm having dreams and if you know anything about the reubenites uh, Reuben actually slept with uh, his father, Jacob's concubine. And I'm forgetting her name right now, but one of the wives of the, the children. And this was a punishment. He lost his inheritance. Uh, and, you know, it went on to, to make a lot of judgments about the Reubenites being, uh, they had the foundation of like on water. So in my dream, it seems that all my dreams when it comes to spiritual attacks are always about lust. And a younger man might think that's great, but an older man like myself, married with kids, I'm very loyal to my wife. Um, it's very tough, you know, and these were dreams back to back, constantly saying that I had, you know, laid down with other women, which is not true, never happened, never will. But in my dreams, they seemed so real and they were repetitive. And some were people I knew, some people I didn't know. And in my dream, the person, and it wasn't even me, but it was a person that I was kind of watching, was a very weak character, and he would lay with these women. So make a long story short, I woke up in the middle of the night, close to three in the morning, and I was just devastated and really, like, it really bothered me. So I got up, and, you know, I sat up in bed, and I asked God, like, what's going on? Why are you allowing this? And I was really torn apart, you know. So I got up, said a prayer, you know, went back to bed. And then I had the most profound dream I've ever had. And I will end there and make another video about the dream. But it's just to say, the point of what I'm telling you is, when you get close to God, you will be attacked very hard, very viciously. And it's usually in a dream. And because I pray so hard to give me strength and all my gifts uh for me i i mean i don't want to go and say that i have the gift of discernment strong but i definitely have some of it because i'm able to decipher things in awake consciousness as well as subconsciously sleeping and again that'll be another video so i'll end it there please pray for me these spiritual attacks are just coming and coming and coming. Like, I mean, it's the closer you get to God, the more it's going to happen. So I hope some of you can comment on this to tell me if you've been through this yourselves. 
And as a community of Christians and Israelites, we can talk about this. Anyway, I'm out. See you guys later. Share this if you want. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye.